let's talk about your country. Okay. Do most people live in houses or apartments in your country? Uh, if I talk about countryside, uh, people used to live in an uh, independent house. Or if I talk about the city or uh, in the town, they live in an apartment. What, what do people usually do in their free time in your country? Uh, most of the time, I spend their, uh, uh, try to spend their time uh, uh, doing some leisure activity, such as watching TV and uh, uh, their favorite shows. And some people uh, try to visit some historical place as well. well. What do you enjoy most about living in your country? Uh, I enjoy most of it, uh, actually. Uh, like uh, there is a, a famous place, uh, a beach, which is uh, Cox's Bazar, which is the longest sea beach uh, in, in, my, uh, in South Asia. So I used to visit it uh, um, in, a, in a year when I get any vacation. Well, would you say that your country is a good place to visit and why? Yeah, it's a good place to visit. As I mentioned that uh, here, is a, here uh, we have a longer sea beach, as well as here we have a Chandranath hill track where you can uh, visit it and you can climb the top of that uh, hill and enjoy the panoramic view of the city. Well, let's talk about food. What's your favorite meal? Uh, my favorite meal is uh, actually biryani. I loved it a lot and my mom used to cook it for me and uh, still she cooks for me uh, that uh, whenever I request her she try to cook that uh, food for me. Wow. Do you prefer to eat out or eat at home and why? Okay, it depends uh, on uh, the situation like uh, if I uh, if I ha if I having a good time and I try to call my friends to go to outside to have a biryani in the restaurant or uh, usually I like to have my meal in my home. Well, how have people's eating habits changed in your country? Uh, it's changing rapidly. Uh, like uh, if I talk about past, uh, people used to uh, eat their traditional food a lot. But if I talk about now, they try to eat international food as well as some they try some uh, uh, food such as, uh, which is exotic, very exotic, they like to eat. Are there any traditional meals that you would recommend and why? Uh, one traditional meal uh, which is uh, a favorite almost for all Bengali people uh, in Pahila Boshak, that is fermented rice. They eat it with uh, hilsha fish and they like it a lot. So I would recommend everyone to have it uh, in, in once. Okay, let's move to the part two. You'll have your in us a booklet, Q cut here, and you have one minute for thinking about the Q cut. If you wish, you can note here. Here is a pencil and paper. Sure, that's your Q cut. Start. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of uh, TV program I used to. I like to see uh, when I get my. I am. Uh, I. I get a free time or in my leisure time. Uh, uh, here I would like to talk about um, uh, fab my favorite TV program that uh, I, I see a lot uh, that is called Kapil Sharma Show. It uh, hosted by an Indian uh, comedian. His name is Kapil Sharma and uh, his humor is uh, uh, wonderful uh, like uh, comedy timing and telling jokes was very fantastic. I, I try to watch his shows every day. Uh, whenever, uh, as I said, I am I'm having a, a leisure time. Also, I recommend some of my friends to watch this because uh, it's a great opportunity to uh, spend some quality time watching his uh, program. And uh, he, in this program, he used to uh, invite a lot of celebrities there. Uh, they visit his shows and they promote their films. But at the same time, they, he do some comedy with them and tell some jokes which is a uh, very uh, funny in a funny way that uh, everyone can enjoy and it's a family show so everyone can uh, enjoy that show uh, when they are watching that show and uh, I, I loved it a lot as, as I said uh, because I can pass my time also and I can learn something 
from there and from the all the famous celebrities what well, they busy uh, now we are moving to the to the part three uh, how do you feel about the amount of advertising on television uh, right nowadays uh, the amount of advertisement is increasing uh, rapidly it's like uh, when you are watching something important or maybe a tv show or an emergency news report you'll see in the break they are showing a, a lot of uh, advertisement and it's uh, influencing people that they are getting bored of those types of advertisement and they're uh, trying to switch their uh, watching habit in what ways has television advertising changed in the last 10 years okay on um, last 10 years if i talk about the past that time uh, the advertisement company used to uh, send some messages through their advertisement and people love to watch them uh, or when the uh, uh, ad appear on their break, uh, they try to watch it full, fully uh, with the full length. But nowadays, people try to avoid uh, such advertisement. And uh, companies also getting smarter and they are uh, trying to short their advertisement so people can watch it fully. Well, to what extent are people influenced by advertising they see on television? Uh, could you please repeat the question? To what extent are people influenced by advertising they see on television? Okay, uh, advertisement uh, influencing people a lot, as I said. Like uh, when they see a product uh, in the advertisement, they tend to tempted to buy that product from the online. Uh, maybe it's unnecessary for them, but they are buying that product to check it out how wonderful that product is. Well, let's talk about the effect of films on society. Why do people still enjoy going to the cinema to watch a film? Um, it depends on people. Like uh, some people uh, like to watch cinema in the cinema hall because they feel it's uh, the place, cinema place, it's uh, very wider and they uh, enjoy their time there with their family. But in home, uh, many people try to watch those film in home because they enjoy a uh, film in alone or in their alone, alone world. What sort of influence can films have on people? Oh, film influencing people a lot, like younger, young generation, they tend to uh, try to watch every famous celebrity films because they think that one day they'll be like them and they uh, plan their life or plan their career uh, after seeing uh, such films and also they're learning a lot of things from the films so it's influencing uh, people and a young generation a lot well should filmmakers be responsible for the impact their you know films can have on people uh, i think yes it's a uh, uh, very crucial uh, like uh, when a film producer or filmmaker making a film he must put some uh, 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 educational message in his uh, film also they are doing it and people are being influenced by those types of uh, films thank you that is the end of your test okay. thank you